Welcome back to Studio B. I am Spencer. He is Jerem. I feel like we should do Friday headlines. Shall we? We should. Okay. Why am I in the uh, the wrong segment here? I don't know where we are in the show. Uh, <laughs> men's basketball host <laughs> TCU tomorrow, 8 Eastern on BYU TV and BYU Radio. BYU and TCU 8-7 and seven in Big 12 play. Cougars have a 69% chance to win, according to Ken Paul. I legit thought we were in the last segment for a second. It's all good, man. <laughs> it's a Friday. We're relaxed Where here. are we? BYU women's basketball on the road to end the regular season and will do so in dramatic fashion, facing former Cougar Shaley Gonzalez and the third hey, rate Shaley. Texas Longhorns. Yeah. Texas 13 and 4 in the Big 12, BYU 6 and 11 with a victory, and it would be a huge upset. BYU would clinch a top nine seed in the Big 12 tournament. Right now, the win or loss, they're going to be like the 10th seed in the conference tournament. You can listen to the game 8 Eastern on BYU Radio. BYU football began the first of 15 spring practices that go to March 30th. Also, Keaton Slovis, Kingsley Suomatia, Ryan Rico wrap up work at the NFL Combine this weekend. Final team interviews, measurements, on-field workouts uh, between today and Sunday. BYU baseball opening their home campaign with a 3-2 win in game one of the three-game set against Gonzaga. Yeah. In the sixth inning, BYU's Luke Anderson with the BYU SN Karma and play hit the go-ahead solo home run. He was the difference. Games two and three will be played today in a double header to avoid some weather. Game two starts at 2 Eastern on Big 12 now on ESPN Plus and BYU Radio. Softball split its first two games at the Capital Classic yesterday in Sacramento. Uh, lost game one to Sacramento State, bounced back against UC Davis, scoring four runs in the fifth, take the lead and route to a 5-3 win. BYU will play two games today against UC Santa Barbara and Utah State. Number 27, BYU Gymnastics will host Southern Utah in the Marriott Center tonight Yeah, for a Taylor Swift Eras themed competition. Love it. I've got a blank space, and I'm going to fill it with gymnastics. You can watch not tonight's like meet, name. 9 Eastern on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Apparently, Travis Kelsey will be there. No, that's not <laughs> happening. Uh, women's tennis earned its first Big 12 win yesterday at UCF. 5-2, they'll look for a second win tomorrow at Houston. Men's tennis beat North Carolina Central 6-1 yesterday for their eighth straight win. They'll be back in action this morning at Radford. Women's and men's swim and dive continue in competition at the Big 12 Championships yesterday. On the men's side, Jordan Tiffany headlined the day, bringing home a Big 12 title in the 100-meter fly. Tiffany joins yeah. Lexi Holiday-Lowry as BYU's lone two individual Big 12 champions this year, as Very in 2024. Cool. On the women's side, BYU added two more all Big 12 finishes with Tatum Cooley and the 400 medley relay. Competition continues through the weekend. Those are today's headlines.